Outlaw Sports is brought to you by Molson Canadian, made from Canada, and Rocky Mountain Barbecue, Alberta barbecue cuisine at its best. I know we're going to get into a fight right now because we're not going to agree on this next topic. Jose Canseco. And I didn't mind him when he first came out. He, and then he just, bec- the, the bigger he got, the bigger head he got, the bigger idiot he became, the more headlines he wanted. And to me, everything he does is about publicity. He's one of these guys that didn't, you know, when the limelight went away, Grant, he craved it. He would do anything. He would mix martial arts. He would go on Donald Trump's show. He'd do anything. All these talk shows. Rat his fellow teammates out. Get that friggin' headlock on the book. Now he was in Calgary recently with that home run derby. I didn't pay attention to it. I could care less about it. But you were rather impressed. Why? Well, well I'm just impressed by the star power that this guy carries. Um, when he first came into Calgary about, uh, I don't know, six weeks ago, the, uh, the Calgary Viper baseball team, which has between 500 to 1,500 fans for their game, drew 3,500 to 4,000. This past weekend, with uh, the Yuma Scorpions here and Conseco here again, over 4,000 fans. That would be like McMahon Stadium for an average stamp game, which gets about 30,000. Yep. I mean, they'd be getting 50, 60,000. That would be huge. Or the Flames almost doubling their attendance for one game, if you could put that number of people into the saddle dome. So just the phenomenon of Jose Canseco to this day, for all the things you said, still impresses me that this guy has star power. David Moss of the Calgary Flames, stamps backup quarterback Drew Tate, uh, speed skater Jamie Gregg for Canada's National League, were all part of a home run derby contest. Jamie Gregg won. But even these players, David Moss, NHL player, grew up in the, the, the Detroit area as a Tigers fan, was almost in awe of Jose Canseco. So I'm not saying I like the guy. I'm just in awe of his star power to this day. How was he towards the media? Did he do interviews? Was he uh, humbled? When he first came here, he did interviews, and he was fantastic until one reporter from CTV. We'll say who it was. Heath Brown. I'm getting there. I'm just doing doing it. I'm building up the suspense by my my style, by my tone. Yeah, yeah. (laughs) See, even you wanted to know who was it, who was it. It worked, didn't it? <laughs> yeah. Heath okay. Brown. Yeah. One of the first questions in a scrum. Now, in a scrum, you have to be respectful, in my opinion, to the other reporters around sure. you. You can't ask a question off the top that's going to upset the guy you're interviewing, and, they sh- they- and then he'll just shut it down for the rest of the guys. To me, that's wrong. Some guys do that, and that really, really bugs me. Heath Brown, early in the interview, said, are you on steroids now? Well, Canseco went nuts. And why? That's a dumb, stupid question to ask a guy. If you want to say, if as you learn something, you can get around it much smarter, much more creatively than that. And, and so that's the only time he was pretty nasty. But Kevin Smith of Global TV, and his credit, got him back on board, and he talked pretty insightful about drugs, about his situation, about being on the, on the, on the uh, uh, Apprentice show, Don, you know, Trump show. Yeah. Um, So he was pretty good. So he was very good. And then he was on the Stamps uh, halftime show on CHQR, and I thought he was very entertaining. Um, He had a good line. They gave him, you know, QR gives a gift certificate to uh, the steakhouse. What's that? Tony Roma's Steakhouse. Okay. And he says, good, I'd love to go. Can I take one or two of those cheerleaders with me? (laughs) So he hasn't changed. Good, good, good. good. All right. So anyways, Mike, I don't disagree with the image and the guy and the player that Jose Canseco is. But I am just so impressed, have to be, in awe of his star power to this day, and not just of guys like for me and fans, but even some pro athletes. Rule number one when you were doing these scrums or in you, you first of all, you want to ask that first question that relaxes the guy. Not are you on steroids? Get him on get him on your side. Get him on your side. Yeah, yeah. make him relaxed. I mean I mean I you did know, the same thing with Dale Barra when uh, he came. Remember when he got uh, he was playing with the Yankees and all the cocaine charges and we did this whole interview and my final thing who was, was he playing with it? Was it their triple A farm team that came yeah, here? Yeah, and came here. And so then he then we started talking and then I asked him about the uh, the, the scandal at the end of it. In a That's what you do. But that's And you know what he said to me afterwards, he said Thank you. He said, you know what? I didn't really want to deal with that, but that was one of the best interviews I've ever had. Well, that's and because I wasn't li- going to nail him on the cross yeah. the very first time. Well, I think, I think some reporters think they have to go for it because it looks good. Nail him with a big, with a big hit. 
But that, to me, that just shuts the interview down and it doesn't work. So anyways. I did do that once though, and I remember Yeah, you don't think your interview skills, Mike, were always <laughs> that, that strong. You, you picked one that you got some compliments yeah, on. Yeah, I do remember uh, when, uh, when uh, I went, I went headhunting one time because I had, uh, I, with the Stampeders, and owner, uh, owner number one, Sig, uh, before he took over, had lent Larry Rickman money to cover payroll. And I said, did you lend Larry money to cover payroll? Yes, I did. That's what friends do. Sometimes in businesses, you have to do that. But I lent Larry the money. Find Larry Rickman in, the, in his suite. Larry, Sig says he lent you money to cover payroll. How do you feel about that? Well, that's not true. It's a lie. And I said, well, we got it on tape where he's so that, you know, but I went headhunting. I knew exactly what I want. Yeah. And our news director at the time wouldn't let me run the story because they were friggin' clients. Yeah. Well, we can get into a whole bunch of that Stampeder stuff. And oh, no, no, it's not about the stamps. I'm just no, but how, on, 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 on how they ruled what we had to say and couldn't say when we said things yeah. with the Doug Flutie thing coming here and all that. So, yeah, yeah. But interesting. Tired of going to redneck barbecues? Well, you better call Rocky Mountain Barbecue. Alberta barbecue cuisine at its best. Great tasting food, clean and efficient service. Check us out online or call Rocky Mountain Barbecue. <laughs>